International Training for Elders and Responsible Ones, March 2023. General Subject Knowing, Experiencing, and Living the All Inclusive Christ for the Genuine Church Life. Message 8 The Vision, Experience, and Enjoyment of the Glorious and Excellent Christ as the Supreme Preciousness of God for the Genuine Church Life. Day 6 Outline Roman number 4 Peter speaks in his epistles about the supremely precious Christ and the items organically related to him. Capital A Christ himself is the preciousness to his believers. Capital B The precious stone for God's building is Christ himself. Capital C The precious blood of Christ has redeemed us from our vain manner of life. Capital D The precious and exceedingly great promises have been granted to us by our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Capital E God has allotted to all the believers equally precious faith. Capital F The precious proving of our faith is by trials that come through sufferings. Roman number 5 We must redeem the time to enjoy Christ as the supreme preciousness of God, so that we can be constituted with Him to be men of preciousness, even preciousness itself, as His personal treasure for us, to become the new Jerusalem, as a miraculous structure of treasure, for His glory. Capital A we need to ask the Lord to grant us the light to have a thorough change in our concept of value so that we will continually choose Christ and all that he is as our super excelling portion. Capital B When we minister God's word we need to take heed to Jeremiah's admonition. Capital C we must treasure the Lord's words more than all earthly riches so that we can speak oracles of God to dispense the unsearchable riches of Christ as the varied grace of God into his people. Capital D We need a vision to see that the new Jerusalem is the triune God, the divine trinity, as three basic factors wrought into and structured together with his redeemed as the conclusion of the whole bible the gold as the base of the city typifies god the father the pearls as the gates of the city typify god the son and the jasper wall of the city typifies god the spirit capital e as we live in christ's precious and present presence Enjoying him as our portion, even as he enjoys us as his treasure, he builds himself into us, to make us his spiritual house, and his holy and royal priesthood, for the accomplishment of his heart's desire. Morning Nourishment Jeremiah 15:19. If you bring out the precious, from the worthless, you will be as my mouth. Revelation 21:18 And the building work of its wall was jasper and the city was pure gold like clear glass Revelation 21:21 21, 21. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls In Philippians 3:7 through 8 we see that Paul had a change in his concept of value what things were gains to him, these he counted as loss, on account of Christ. Why was Paul able to reject the things, that were gains to him? He was able to consider them as loss, on account of the excellency, of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. Paul reckoned the Christ, whom God had anointed as Lord, as King, and as the most excellent one. 
for his sake, he suffered the loss of all things, and counted them as refuse. This is the kind of change in valuation, that happens to a Christian. If we cannot tell the proper value of things, God will reject us, and cast us aside. He requires, that we bring out the precious, from the worthless, so that we can be his mouth. May the Lord grant us the light, to have a thorough change, in our concept of value, so that we will know to choose, the most excellent portion. Today's reading the basic elements of the structure of the new Jerusalem are gold, pearls and precious stones. Gold refers to the divine nature of God the Father and pearls refer to the produce of Christ and his overcoming death and life secreting resurrection. Precious stones signify the produce of the Spirit in his transforming work with his divine element for the building up of God's building. The redemptive work of God the Son, is all inclusive. His desire is for us, to stay in his death, so that he might secrete his life juice over us. This is the life secreting work of Christ. Because this work is hard for us, to realize, we need such an allegory. Without this allegory, we would not be able to see, that Christ's resurrection life is actually the divine life element, secreted over us, to make us pearls. If we check with our experience, we will be able to understand more fully, Christ's secreting work. It may be, that a certain young brother feels, that his father is wrong in a certain matter. He may feel, that he needs to complain or rebel, but if he does this, he is running away from the death of Christ. However, if this brother stays under the cross, in the death of Christ, and says, Lord, I praise you, that you have kept me in your death. I praise you, that I am now residing in your all-inclusive death, immediately something within him, will be secreting around his inner being, and he will sense the inner supply. As he experiences this inner secretion, time after time, he will become a pearl more and more. This is the secretion, of the resurrected Christ, in his resurrection life. Even in our marriage life, we must remember, that in order to enjoy the secreting work of Christ, in his resurrection through his death, we must remain, and stay in his death. Do not run away. We all need to see, that the marvelous, all-inclusive death of Christ, is our home sweet home. Regardless of what a sister's husband would say to her, she needs to stay, to remain in Christ's death. If she would do this, she would sense the secreting of Christ's resurrection life. The more trouble her husband would give her, the more enjoyment she would have, as long as she remains in the death of Christ. This fellowship is not a doctrine or a teaching, but an explanation of our subjective experience of Christ. Thank the Lord that today, he has opened the veils, and has shown us the way, to be victorious, and to be an overcomer. We do not need to gnash our teeth, to endeavor or to struggle. We only need to stay home, to remain in the death of Christ. Then we enjoy the secreting, of the divine life in resurrection. This is the end of day 6 of message 8.